Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number 7. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this message. So today I'm here with a channel messages reading from your person for all of my Sagittariuses out there. So if you have Sagittarius as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all of my Sagittariuses out there, so it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So without further ado, here are some messages from your person for all of my Sagittariuses watching. Cross watchers, you are welcome as well, whoever's watching. Just like the moon, I have my phases. I have wandering thoughts. You'll always be my number one. So also Sagittarius, please keep in mind if I'm speaking from your person's perspective, that could be how you feel. The roles could be reversed as however this reading resonates for you. Also, this is a timeless reading. So if I'm describing the past, that could be the recent past. Any energy I describe um, within this reading can apply to your connection. Just take what resonates. And if you're not connected to anyone at this time, this could be someone from the past or who's coming towards you. But so far, Sagittarius, I feel like with this connection and what has been going on or your person's actions and their their emotions towards you, I feel like you Sagittarius, you feel like they maybe only reach out to you when it's convenient for them or they're very like wishy-washy. Like you never know what to expect when when you hear for them hear from them because even if they're it's like whatever this person is feeling in the moment, that's how they choose to act. And I know that's that's of course natural, but even if it has nothing to do with you, Sagittarius, I feel like this person, they may not communicate or they may act as if they may not communicate and you, Sagittarius, you don't know whether it's because of something else or if it's because of you or something you did or if they're unhappy with this connection. So we have just like my, just like the moon, I have my phases. For some of you, you may be dealing with a cancer. You might have cancer in your chart. That doesn't have to resonate, and it will not for everyone. But this person, they they fluctuate. Like, they're, how they act towards you, Sagittarius, it fluctuates. So it, you don't, it's not consistent what you're getting from them. And that, that definitely could have caused some disruption in this connection, um, especially if they, they don't they don't communicate but with this one card it's like your person goes through the motions and it's not until they're feeling better about themselves or what's taking place in their life at the time it's not until that resolves itself until like once that is resolved that's when they start to maybe be more present in this connection I have wandering thoughts. I feel like this is a mutual energy, Sagittarius, from your person. It's it's like they don't know what they want when when something is when they're feeling an overall emotion that that's not so much considered positive. Um, and for some of my Sagittarius is out there, you might know why your person's attitude changes all the time. Maybe it's something that they're dealing with in their life, or maybe you, Sagittarius, you've just observed that that's, that's their personality, that's just them. But I also feel like this is your energy, Sagittarius, because you don't know what to make out of this connection or this person right now. Like, you don't know if this is something you should drop or maybe stick with. But we have, you'll always be my number one. I feel like this is your person's energy to you, Sagittarius. 
Um, like I said in the beginning of this reading, they might just reach out to you when it's most convenient for them. And that's because they do value you, Sagittarius, but sometimes you have to be careful of if it's for the right reason or not because some people value you because they realize who you are and they respect you just because of that but on the other hand there's those people who they realize who you are but they also realize what they could get from you or take from you um but i feel like your person they know that they they recognize your value and they feel that they could always come back to you sagittarius we have our differences. I love being around you. You'll always be in my heart. So Sagittarius, um, I feel like within this connection right now, with the We Have Our Differences card and just like the moon, I have my phases, I feel like you might be considering that this may not be the person for you. And of course, differences don't don't cause things to things to be thrown away. But sometimes, when there's differences and someone out of the connection isn't accommodating the other person, that's when it causes causes the disruption because there has to be some level of understanding and even some give or take and even if it's differences within how you two communicate or your personality is differing from one another you Sagittarius you have no problem working through them and making appropriate accommodations not towards not changing yourself but just understanding how your person is but right now it's like there's this stubborn energy um with your person and for you Sagittarius I feel like it comes off like they either don't care or they don't want to change and even those two reasons can be they're interrelated we do have you'll always be in my heart I feel like this is your energy Sagittarius to your person um, this could be someone that you've had history with, with the, you'll always be my number one. This could be a connection that you've tried your best, Sagittarius, but you're learning that you can only care from afar because right now it's not getting you anywhere and you have wandering thoughts. I'm just going to readjust my camera really quick. But yeah, you, you realize that it's not getting you where you want to be and on top of that, it's causing some tension that could very well be avoided if there was some active communication. We do have I love being around you. I feel like this is a mutual energy and I also feel like because it, it seems like your person, they're either in a really good mood or when they're not in that mood, you don't hear from them or you feel like there's obviously something on this person's mind but you just don't know what it is. You don't know if you can help. You don't know if it's because of you, Sagittarius. Um, but when they are in that, when they are feeling good, they, they want to be around you, Sagittarius. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you. So that might just confuse you even more. Love is possible. I owe you some of my time. You are the best I've ever had. Sagittarius, um, I feel like with this connection in your person, this is someone you've, you've tried with, even if, like, I feel like you've given this connection the benefit of the doubt, and even if you haven't known this person for a long time, you've tried to see it through with this person because this person does mean something to you. Um, and you mean something to them as well um, with the you'll always be my number one and you're, you are the best I've ever had but I feel like from your energy Sagittarius this isn't something you just want to easily give up on and I feel like you're very optimistic about the changes that can be made in this connection to bring it all together but it's your person's energy that is that is stubborn 
So we have, you are the best I've ever had. I feel like this is a mutual energy, Sagittarius. From your person's perspective, it's like you've been there for them. You've taken the time to understand them. You're their number one. You could be like even their best friend or their confidant. But I feel like from your perspective or your energy, Sagittarius, this person is someone you really care about. We have, you'll always be in my heart. This is someone you don't want to see go. I owe you some of my time. I feel like this is your person's energy. But at the same time, they're still stubborn. Um, and I feel like it's up to you, Sagittarius, to, of course, decipher if this connection is worth your time, if it's aiming towards the expectations that you have set for it as well. Love is possible. I feel like this is your energy, Sagittarius. I feel like this person really had a part of your heart and they really brought out that your caring, nurturing side. And I'm not I'm not saying Sagittarius is aren't like that, but you really care about them and the type of like how you've maybe extended yourself in this connection to try to save it or try to work on it, you wouldn't be doing that for just anyone. Because I will say Sagittarius is if you if you all care, you you care. But if you don't, you don't care and you won't put any any time or attention into it. I love you more than anything. You are out of this world. The stars took their time and it shows. So Sagittarius before I get into this card, please keep in mind the energies I've described that the roles could be reversed. Um, but I feel like this is your energy towards your person. I feel like this might be someone like your first, like maybe your first love, the first person you really had strong feelings for. And from the start, you you started growing. Your, your feelings started growing more and more for this person. And maybe you've always known them to have maybe a flight more of a flighty personality but through time you've tried to work work any problems out with this person and it's like you wouldn't be doing that if you didn't care about them if you didn't want to and I feel like you Sagittarius you have this goal to see this connection through so you're you're trying to work on it but I will go ahead and leave it at that. That's all I do have for my Sagittarius's today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.